I know some of you guys are curious about uh, what the Pine Box Boys do when uh, we're not, you know, when we're kicking around here in the Netherlands and and uh, uh, we're not playing any shows. Um, well, today we decided to engage in clog racing. We have uh, two unique competitors here whose individual styles and abilities will come to bear in this race. I'd like to talk to uh, gentleman Jimmy, ask him a few questions before the competition. All right, so how are those feeling, Jimmy? Terrible. Now let's check in with Boss and Carviti, our other competitor today. Uh, Mr. Carviti, who's yes. the one to beat in this race? I am clearly the one to beat, the underdog, because you can see by my friends clumping that he's wearing the bourgeois, sort of rich, upper-class clumping, whereas I, the working man, am wearing uh, the type of clumping that has made the Netherlands great through hard work and diligence. And his Not stand for what? The, the, the bourgeois, bourgeois mobility? The mobility, exactly. Colonel like, clumping. Cur <laughs> It's really quite gripping watching these two guys prepare for competition. We wonder if one of them, uh, or, or both, are, are seeking some sort of advantage in this competition. Let's ask the competitors. So we're wondering, Gentleman Jimmy, uh, do you have any uh, special uh, uh, techniques or tricks you're going to use today that's going to help you uh, give you some sort of an advantage against uh, oh. Mr. Carviti? I'm just trying not to fall down. Okay. I don't have any band-aids for my elbows yet. Um, I had some good sushi, and I'm counting on the wasabi to give me that advantage. Excellent. If I get in Excellent. front of him, I have an oil slick or maybe a some kind of slick for him. <laughs> yes. We have a good turnout here. The crowd is uh, is really anxious to see these two guys. And they're off. Okay, so we're pretty certain that Possum's disqualified uh, because his uh, clogs came off <laughs> entirely. All right, let's watch this again in slow motion. You'll notice, of course, that uh, Gentleman Jimmy gets to a slow start. Possum is strong out of the gate, but it's really we, hard to tell from that angle exactly where the wheels came off the track, but uh, clearly by this frame um, he's yeah he's long disqualified and, and prancing around a little um, let's check it again from another angle uh, we see when the when the flag comes down uh, actually both competitors get a get a fairly strong start here but by the looks like by the third and fourth steps possums clogs are yes yes it's definite now possums clogs are completely off his feet and he's running entirely in a single pair of uh, what can only be terribly, terribly smelly socks. So of course, in a two-man race, silver stands for loser. Let's talk to um, the silver medal, medal winner. Thoughts on the race today? Uh, it was rigged. Uh, didn't have the right socks on, not in the right frame of mind, um, didn't have my coffee, obviously, but tomorrow is the rematch. I'm going to have three pairs of socks on, just to be on the same side. And I guarantee you victory. I guarantee you. And of course, with victory comes celebration. And with celebration, of course, comes hubris. One can only imagine what might possibly can happen to this brothers? competitor so, in the future. Uh, John Candy's at the end, and he says, Orange whip, orange whip, orange whip, three orange whips. So that's what we do. Now everyone gets orange whips. Orange whip. Very essential. So I hope you enjoyed the competition today. There should be some future competitions. Uh, join us here at the Hollands Hollands Mortuary Sports Center to keep up with all the excitement of professional clog racing. <laughs>